How safe do you think lifeboats are in a maritime emergency? It's a question that might have you scratching your head. After all, aren't lifeboats designed to be the ultimate safety net in high seas? Well, there's more to the story. Unexpected dangers can and do occur during the launching, recovery, and even the routine maintenance of these trusty vessels. It might seem surprising, but the safety of lifeboats isn't always as straightforward as it appears. In the next few minutes, we'll take a deep dive into the nine golden rules of lifeboat safety. To ensure safety at sea, maritime professionals developed the nine golden safety rules based on fatal incident reports. Each of these rules focuses on specific activities that can lead to fatalities and serious injuries, highlighting areas within an individual's control. The first rule is about starting work safely. It's essential to ensure that all safety measures are in place before beginning any task. This involves checking equipment, understanding the task at hand, and making sure you're in the right mindset. The second rule, respect the plan, emphasizes the importance of adhering to the established procedure. Deviating from the plan can lead to unexpected hazards. Moving on to the third rule, stay in the safe zone. This rule is about always ensuring you're in a safe location when working, especially when dealing with potentially dangerous equipment or situations. The fourth rule, don't override or misuse safety devices, speaks for itself. Safety devices are there for a reason and misusing or overriding them can have disastrous consequences. The fifth rule, always use the correct equipment, underlines the importance of using the right tools for the job. Using incorrect equipment not only risks damaging the equipment, but also endangers your safety. The sixth rule, never walk under a suspended load, is straightforward. It's a dangerous situation that can lead to serious injury or worse. The seventh rule, don't start work if conditions are unsafe, reinforces the idea that no job is so urgent that it can't wait until conditions are safe. The eighth rule, always use fall protection, is crucial, especially when working at heights. A simple slip can lead to a fatal fall, but using the correct fall protection can prevent this. Finally, the ninth rule, always follow lockout tagout procedures, emphasizes the importance of ensuring machines are properly shut down before beginning maintenance or repair work. Remember, each rule plays a crucial role in preventing accidents and ensuring the safety of everyone on board. But ensuring safety doesn't end with following rules. It's about the collective power of collaboration. It's about maritime workers coming together, sharing their experiences, their incident and near-miss data to enhance safety across the board. It's about continuous learning, about understanding where things went wrong and how they can be prevented in the future. It's about leveraging the power of information. And to aid in this, there's a free, anonymous data platform developed in partnership with Hilo Risk Management. Safety is a collective effort, and together we can make the high seas a safer place for everyone. In the end, it all comes down to understanding and adhering to the nine golden safety rules. The hidden dangers of lifeboats become less intimidating when we use these rules as our guiding light. Collaboration and learning, sharing incident and near-miss data, are vital for preventing future accidents. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and remember the life you save could be your own.